So let's create a sign out action and this is gonna be just an HTTP post because signing out is only available if the user is signed in. So there is no view for signing out. So let's create HTTP post. And again, let's do the validate and anti forgery token. And I want to add one more attribute and that is to authorize. And that's because, like I said, signing out is only available for the users that are authorized to do that, which are the users that are already signed in. So let's create the action. So this is going to be public I action result sign out. We don't need to pass in anything because all we're going to do is to sign the user out. So we'll go to the sign in manager and then call the sign out async method for the identity. And again, we'll use the wait keyword because it's an async and that signs the user out. After that, we want to redirect the user back to the sign in page. We cannot redirect him to the list view because that's not going to be available for anyone who is not signed in. So we redirect back to the sign in page. So we'll do the redirect to action and we are redirecting to the sign in action in our security controller. So I'll specify the controller anyway. So that's to sign out and I will have one more action which is gonna be for the access denied and this one will simply show a view that will say access denied if, if the user is not authorized to use the application. So I will use the public I action result, I'll call it access denied. Nothing needs to be passed in and we will simply return the view that we will create in just a minute. All right, so this is our controller. We have the models. Now let's work on the views for our security.